Hey, this is the SMG here. We're nearing the end of our video series. Closing it out with two of my favorite perks, the Berserker. The Berserker, to start off, Dreadnought versus Skirmisher. I find Skirmisher to be much more useful because the speed boost, being able to sprint 25% faster, and regenerating two points of help every second. Also, you don't have to rely on a medic being good or even competent. With Dreadnought, if you brought your own medic in a suitcase, or you find a really competent medic online, Dreadnought can be a little bit more useful. It'll ensure you're not wiped out. But especially if you're good with parrying, being able to regenerate two points of help, you can parry, run, parry, <laughs> go back further. So that really makes it useful. Next, <clears throat> looking at the tier two skill tree, Healing four points of health for every Zed that you successfully destroy is extremely useful and it has that attack 20% faster on top of it. So again, this focuses on health. The alternative is attacking 25% faster and doing 20% damage. On the higher difficulties, again, unless you have a competent medic, Vampire is much more useful, especially useful solo. If you're a parry person and really enjoy parrying, parrying with a perk weapon, uh, reducing damage 40%, and getting more melee attack and speed is useful. I find that 20% resistance to all damage and 20% resistant to poison and sonic damage useful just because of the sonic damage. Well, being able to get in there with those sirens makes it quite a help. It helps to defuse some situation when your squad gets wiped out because of them. For power, smash. I pick Smash every time because with those heart attacks you can do the trick with the pulverizer or you unload the ammunition and use the heavy attack and you're doing 25% more damage on head hits and 50% more damage overall and there's that stumble power to knock them down. Light attacks. Oh, it just doesn't add that much. And then advanced training, it's a matter of preference. If you get swarmed a lot, healing 25% is pretty significant, especially if you have Dreadnought. And with Zed's close to you trying to flee, it can give you some breathing space. But if you have a good team, I highly recommend taking Spartan. Uh, being able to attack in your real time, you can knock a horde down quickly. That's yet less useful for those big sets, though. And that is the Berserker.